The island itself is about four times the size as the first game. A lot more forest to explore. Find areas that might be more of a glade, or you might have areas that are super dense, sort of more you know, with underbrush or lots of tropical, almost fern type stuff. And then, you know, we have the water sources that are fairly new in this game. We've sort of done a lot of work to make it feel like a real natural water source. The animals will hang around them and there's rivers flowing into them. and just detailed up as much as we can. The, the map is roughly four times the size. Surface area wise, I think it's a lot bigger just because of how much we're actually dedicating just to terrain. The subterranean areas, which there's a lot more of, five times as many tree types and plants and ferns and trees and bushes. In the previous game was roughly around 40,000, I think. In this one, it's about two million. You're just standing on the island somewhere. It feels like you're in a forest and you can look in one direction and be like I wonder what's out of sight that way and look the other way it's it's overwhelming the seasons will dynamically change through the duration of the game we also do things during the seasons uh, that affect the actual gameplay so a good example is say in winter the berry bushes no longer have nearly as many berries or any in most cases there's fewer animals and the habitats on the island they will not pursue out as far and so it uh, the seasons they all it has this effect in the overall world the main benefit is you'll have probably less encounters the inhabitants of the island because of like they're also dealing with the same struggles as you hopefully it's a balance and it's a it's a good challenge that people experience yeah it won't happen instantly it won't be like an up just an instant switch there'll be sort of a progression in it initially so you'll see and you'll know what's coming you're holding these logs because you're really strong so you know and you're actually placing them down if you need you split them with your axe right it's just rather than just everything popping into place yeah. And yeah, or a magic ghost showing up and you throwing logs into space and it appears a mile over, you know, it's like you're putting the log down on the ground. The interaction with it is way more detailed now, like all the pushing and how it renders with rain and wind. It's all like super, just super detailed. Again, like this building system is like totally new and built from scratch and it's super, super rewarding. Like that, it's not from something we created, it's something he created, you know, like he can do whatever he wants. And it's like pretty, pretty amazing. I mean, it's gonna be nuts. Like the, the first game, looking at some of the stuff they're able to build with that system is, is crazy. But then this one, we've sort of said, okay, how can we make that even more? possible so it's less you know prefab structures you actually build you design the building you're building entirely like we have a, a very like an advanced AI system we've basically built out to try to like create real living worlds and one of the key mechanics of that is sort of an association or relationship that they can develop with you they remember things like things you've done things you do how you behave how you interact with them positive and negative if this guy just saw his buddy get decapitated he's going to be afraid and he's gonna stumble and fall in the mud. Whereas maybe a different cannibal is a little more, you know, higher in morale and that sort of thing. And, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna get furious and charge at you. Yeah, there's other stats like how religious they feel or how, how much leadership they have or how, you know, dedicated they are as a follower. They have an idea and then the other characters will say, well, I'm more of a follower, so I'll attach my thought to that factions within the, within the enemies in that there's certain types and they behave differently and some of them don't like each other. You can be in a fight in a village with a group of cannibals and then a group of the uh, what we call the muddies show up and they will actually start fighting the muddies off because they don't want them in their village. The creepy enemies that are more sort of cave dwelling and the actual villages and there's sort of like an ebb and flow of like if you kill off all the villages then you might have to deal with more creepies now or if there's a kind of a turf war mechanic that's been sort of that will flow through the game as you're playing and you can influence it by doing certain murderous actions I guess. Yeah, and if you take out some of the cannibal villages that might allow the, the creepies to spread a little more. If you just go on a murderous rampage and start taking tons and tons of cannibals out mm -hmm. they will start to try and prepare more against you. And then they might start doing some proactive, trying to remove you from their, their ecosystem. We've added a character, Calvin, who he's not super able to do super complex things, but he can do like a lot of very helpful things. So stuff that the player might just want him to go off and do some busy work for a while and then come back and they'll suddenly got this pile of logs to help you out building. 
while you're sitting there focusing on designing your mansion, you know, on, on the lake. You have to treat him nice. He isn't any faster than another player. So if you played with someone else, like he would be a bonus. Like if you had another human player, they would be obviously faster and probably more capable, of course. But he's designed so he's not OP. Yeah, it's just nice him. to have a little companion around yeah. and sit by the yeah. fire with. Give him a radio and he'll follow you around and you're building away and he's just like happily holding the radio for your building. So. Uh, can be Portable music player. Yeah. There's other characters in the world who aren't the typical enemy types and they'll help you or maybe give you some information about the game or the story and help you lead you through the world of the forest, or the sons of the forest. Uh, where am I? Uh, 